Hello all, what you see in the video here is a simple op-amp circuit which is built using an universal op-amp which is available from LT Spice. So what we are basically doing here is uh, um, this is a simple voltage follower circuit uh, with a, a <coughs> feedback path from uh, non-inducting terminal and then the input is grounded. Okay. So what the functionality of voltage follower is that when there is uh, x input the output should be x that's what voltage follower meant right so now here we have provided uh, uh, a ground uh, which is nothing but zero volts that means the output must be zero so when we try to run this we see that there is uh, some voltage on the output so the, this level we see here which is 3.4 millivolt <coughs> is at the op amp output now this definitely is not acceptable because we have given a zero but at the output we see that we have around 3.4 volts that means uh, uh, we have a voltage uh, which is undesirable so this uh, voltage is basically called a <coughs> output offset voltage that means there is some offset from the output uh, which is uh, uh, expected uh, from the expected value so we have given zero and zero is expected but we have some voltage beyond that zero volts now in order to counter this we can we have to supply some voltage here at the input such that we can uh, wish we get uh, um, zero volts at the output so the voltage that must be applied at the input to get uh, zero volts at the output is called input offset voltage so now we are talking about input offset voltage so now let us assume We are applying some voltage here. So I just try to okay. So here let us assume I apply some point one minus point one volts at the input here. Okay. So if I run this, I see that the output is almost zero. So my zero point one volt <coughs> is uh, uh, the offset voltage input offset voltage for this op amp so this is how uh, from a given um, op amp uh, part number using uh, the simulation means we can uh, determine the uh, offset voltages definitely if you look at the op amp data sheet um, already <coughs> they'll be providing the input offset voltage now there is also one more way of uh, uh, doing this particular approaching this particular issue so where let us ground this and then if you already know uh, the input offset voltage from the data sheet definitely we cannot apply that voltage beyond uh, uh, that additional point 0.1 voltage at the input because input might be coming from some other circuit so there are two approaches here either uh, when you read this uh, uh, output of this op amp uh, from a microcontroller or some other uh, circuit uh, you try to negate that minus one or negate that uh, 3.4 millivolt which we have seen or apply 0.1 volt here so applying 0.1 volt uh, um, is definitely out of our uh, hands because this is what the input we are getting from somewhere so the another approach could be raise the point one volt raise the negative voltage okay to a level such that the actual offset is point one okay the actual ground level previously the level uh, lower level was zero so now you increase the level to 0.1 so such that saturation happens at 0.1 for a low level voltage 
um, and then the input is 0 the output should be determined so now let us run this scenario so again you see that uh, you get 0 volts here so there are two scenarios increasing the uh, applying the offset at the input such that you get as exact 0 volts as desired or change the uh, negative level such that you apply that uh, required offset to the output voltage now both these scenarios can be done but uh, applying at the input is definitely not practical because we get input from somewhere so doing this on a negative voltage is definitely <coughs> possible now doing this on a negative voltage would require generating a negative voltage on your in your circuit so there are some uh, uh, specific ICs uh, which we have where uh, using the, uh, the the flyback capacitor the charging capacitors um, you can generate that uh, negative voltage so this is similar to uh, what we see in uh, uh, the RS232 transceivers where we generate the required RS232 levels at the output which are negative um, from the input uh, TTL or uh, CMOS levels so <clears throat> that's the uh, same similar kind of uh, um, mechanism where there, there are ICs available from Texas Instruments which can be used uh, to generate uh, this point one so <clears throat> hope it is uh, uh, clear uh, there are uh, so we have seen three scenarios here we just took a simple voltage follower try to see uh, try to ground the input and then see what is the offset that is seen uh, that means the output offset voltage apply some offset at the input such as you bring down the output voltage to zero which we called uh, it as the input offset voltage and we talked that uh, definitely it's not feasible to use uh, uh, to increase the input because uh, input shall come from various sources which we need to measure basically mm, so um, one option could be uh, changing the uh, lower threshold of the op amp instead of zero we tried to give um, some offset voltage some in the sense whatever the input offset voltage that we have seen such that we see a uh, zero uh, at the output so indirectly we are trying to bring uh, the op amp uh, to an ideal condition uh, uh, such that our measurements doesn't take a hit so if you want uh, 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 if your measurement is critical and if you even don't want uh, a 1 millivolt of a variation in your circuit then uh, definitely uh, this is the kind of approach uh, we have to take so some people if you uh, feel uh, a very accurate op amp is a costly affair for your scenario take a simple op amp low cost op amp uh, and a simple uh, um, <coughs> I see which can generate the negative voltage which which uh, so the combination of that uh, op amp and this uh, negative generator should should always cost less than uh, uh, the premium op amp so that's the kind of uh, design approach uh, that can be uh, taken hope it is useful for you please let us know if you have any questions please post your comments please subscribe and like our channel thank you